Hello, I'm Teresa Riley, the Chancellor of the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. It is an absolute honor and privilege to join you today as we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020. Lions, you have done it. Since day one, you've stayed dedicated to your classwork. You've made great new friends. You've worked with amazing faculty and caring and dedicated staff members. Today, we all celebrate you and your great accomplishments. We know that you can achieve any goal you've set for yourself. And we look forward to the day when we can gather to provide you with your diplomas in person. Until that time, the very best of luck to you. We know you can do anything you set your mind to. And don't forget, once you're a lion, you're always a lion. Hello, I'm Donald Bobbitt, as president of the University of Arkansas System. And as someone who has spent his entire career in higher education, the commencement ceremonies serve as an uplifting reminder of the reason I became an educator. It is you, our graduates, who have enriched this campus over the past several years with your presence and your dreams, and who now provide inspiration for us all during these challenging times. I know that you have looked forward with great anticipation to the celebration that would mark your academic accomplishment. I understand that not having a formal commencement ceremony is just as disappointing for your families and your friends who have supported you in your scholarly endeavors. While this is not how anyone planned to mark your achievement, I choose to look at the situation as being symbolic of the road ahead for you, one that we feel with many obstacles. You have shown that if one holds fast to one's dreams, in spite of these significant challenges, they can be achieved, even if it requires that we travel new, unexplored paths. As president, there are many things that keep me up at night, but if looking over the accomplishments of this graduating class, the future of this state, the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith are not on that list. Thank you and congratulations again, graduates. Congratulations, graduates. You've made it. And accomplishing this in the midst of these tough times, wow, that's really something to be celebrated. So as you move forward to your further successes, let us know, let's stay in touch. And if there's ever anything that we can do to be of service to you, please don't hesitate to call. We appreciate your dedication to your studies. Congratulations on this graduation. Way to go. Happy graduation day. Dr. Letitia Settledge, Interim Dean of the College of Business here. And on behalf of the faculty and staff in the College of Business, congratulations on achieving this important milestone. We join you today in celebrating the significance of this achievement Amidst a global pandemic, you finished your college degree. We are proud of your accomplishments. Please take the time to reflect on the many hours of reading, studying, and practice that you have invested in your degree, as well as thank all of those who've supported you along the way. Please know that we thank you for choosing UAFS and hope that you will stay in touch. Fall 2020, you're getting ready to graduate. My name is Paul Hankins, and I'm the Dean of the College of Communication, Languages, Arts, and Social Sciences. I'm so proud of the work that you've done to achieve this goal that you've set for yourself so many years ago. Don't let this virtual graduation ceremony deter your enthusiasm or diminish your accomplishments. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you again sometime in the future. Congratulations, College of Health Science graduates. Great job. I know how hard you worked. I know you sacrificed. I know you've done your best. Now it's your day. It's your graduation day. Celebrate and be proud. Congratulations again, Dr. Corbin. Without question, 2020 has been an unprecedented year. The pandemic brought no more to a screeching hole in the spring. The new normal becomes a virtual class wearing masks, no on-campus event and Zoom meetings. As a 2020 graduate, you deserve extra recognition for what you have achieved under less than ideal conditions. Remember, you have accomplished this in the craziness that is 2020. So obviously, you are unstoppable. Congratulations on your achievement. Hello to the 2020 graduating class of the University of Arkansas, Fort Smith. Congratulations.
congratulations to all of you who have completed your associate degrees, bachelor and master's degrees. Your hard work, perseverance, dedication and accomplishments are impressive and well deserved. You have worked diligently to earn your degrees, so it's a time to celebrate and contemplate the road traveled as well as the road ahead. Make no mistake, as college graduates, you are respected and valued by our community and wherever life leads you. Additionally, your accomplishments are particularly impressive in light of this very strange year of 2020. You have had excellent teachers, demanding instruction and challenging coursework. Having collaborated with UAFS faculty for over 20 years, I am confident that quality education you receive has made you more skilled at your craft, giving you a much greater understanding of your field of study, as well as making you a more well-rounded individual. There's no doubt that you have the tools and skills ready to start the next phase of your lives. You are moving from student to professional. It's new, daunting, exciting, and exhilarating. You have the fantastic opportunity to take what you've learned and put it into practice, and it's one of the coolest things you'll ever get to do in your life. Making this time incredibly meaningful is up to you. Be kind, thoughtful, generous, and understanding but also be super enthusiastic and positive. It really is a time to take life by the throat and say, this is what I hope to accomplish, and this is the contribution I want to make to the world. As you move forward, putting your knowledge into practice, remember that the learning never stops. It's changed for you now. Learning for you is based on all practical applications now, these are practical applications that you learned so well in college. Try to do everything with passion. Passion is the key, it's that enthusiasm, it's the dedication, it's the drive to do something that you love. Make sure you love it, make sure you love it every day as much as you can. Albert Einstein said, I have no special talents, I am only passionately curious. Although I think that was an understatement for him. Uh, it's important to remember that life is really a team effort. No matter if you are uh, leading a group of people or you are in a group of people, uh, maybe not as the leader, try to work as a team, try to understand, cultivate, listen to, reach out to other people who you work with and who you uh, interact with. Always work together better as a team. As Henry Ford said, if everyone is moving forward together, then success takes care of itself. I don't want this one to be misunderstood, but always keep the child going inside of you. Uh, always have that enthusiasm and sense of wonder if you can. And always try to look for the magic. As adults, we don't believe in magic. Kids, however, look for magic all the time and they usually find it. There's an enthusiasm, uh, there's a curiosity, there's continual interest, let me do that, let me do that. Try to keep that going in your work. It's very, very important. Uh, to quote Walt Disney, growing old is mandatory, but growing up is optional. Something I'd like to mention, particularly in this day and age, it's my one semi-old person comment, and that is that age and experience also count for something. I found in recent years a trend towards things very new and um, younger people maybe downplaying experience. There's no substitute for experience. And people who have been around for a while often have really terrific things to say because they have a lot of experience and wisdom. So as you're out in the workforce, 
Um, be careful to uh, listen to folks in charge, the experienced folks. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to agree with them, but there's often a lot of really valuable information uh, with people who have been around. And I know we all kind of know that, but there seems to be a little bit of a fashion these days of uh, choosing, choosing new, and uh, that doesn't always work out so well. Something that we do know for sure is in recent years, we've seen everything change. Change is rapid. So what's really happened, perhaps more than any other time in history, is change is a constant. It's, it's moving every day, something new, something different. We're working on a global scale now. We've noticed particularly uh, during this COVID time, how things change incredibly. So you always have to be flexible and ready for that change. We've known about this, of course, for a long time. Uh, John F. Kennedy said, change is the law of life, which is true. And those who look only at the past and present are certain to miss the future. I'm sure your parents have mentioned it, your coach has said it, your teachers, but never give up, keep trying. It's always worth another try. Never lose hope. If you have something you wanna do, something to, uh, that you need to figure out, keep doing it. Uh, Babe Ruth said, you just can't beat the person who won't give up, and it's very true. Uh, consider walking your own way. People like to judge other people. Peer pressure can make you stray or affect your future. Don't worry about it. Don't think about other people's aspirations. It's your own path. You decide where it takes you and how long it takes. Don't think about uh, fitting in. Don't think about the normal approach. Uh, the great painter Vincent Van Gogh said, normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow on it. Think about it. Continue to always have the big picture and work in your life. You're, you've been focused on a lot of uh, specific details in your studies, and uh, those details help you understand the bigger picture. Uh, and it's great that you've learned that perspective at UAFS. So keep it going. Always look at the long-term goals. It's amazing how many little things we worry about and we just need to keep moving forward. I always uh, think, I always use the term, in the grand scheme of world events, X. Is this really a problem? Is the fact that I, I couldn't get exactly what I wanted in this case, or this person didn't do exactly what I want, is that, uh, is that really important? And you'll find that uh, by not sweating the small stuff, as they say, I think uh, that's gonna be very helpful in the future. Always remember, you know this, that there's always gonna be uh, failures. Uh, please consider the failures learning experiences. Don't be afraid to try new things. It's okay to be afraid. It's a normal emotion. There's no question about it. But working through those fears to a successful outcome or being brave is actually a decision. So uh, always keep that in mind as you're dealing with the uh, failures. My sincere hope is that everything is going to work out well for you. And it's more than a hope. I know it's going to be a reality. Times are very interesting right now. But again, if you have that big picture, if you're thinking long term, we hopefully won't be in this situation right now with COVID. And as we move forward, we'll be ready, I think, for so many different challenges. And I'm really thrilled with the work that you've done at the school, and I know uh, about it because as I said earlier, I've been involved with uh, so many faculty and staff for so long working with them on projects. I'm thrilled that you're able to go to the University of Arkansas Fort Smith. I know that you're gonna use that knowledge to the very best of your ability. Keep the enthusiasm, keep the faith. Uh, I know you wanna go out and celebrate your success Maybe you can't do that huge party that you want to do right now, but um, please celebrate. Please be thankful to everyone who helped you uh, with your studies and all the best of luck.
for the future. Congratulations, graduates. This is Blake Rickman, Vice Chancellor for University Advancement. We're sorry we can't be there with you today. We want you to take this time to think about all the people who helped you along the way, and remember that now it's your turn to be the mentor. Hi, my name is George McGill. I'm the mayor of the City of Fort Smith and a proud member of the Board of Visitors here at UAFS. I know it takes hard work and determination to earn that degree, and you've done it. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. My name is Tim Shields. I'm the board chair for the University of Arkansas Fort Smith Foundation. I want to commend you on your achievement of, of getting to this day. Uh, graduation's a big time for you, and uh, you've got a lot of changes ahead of you as you move forward from this day. Um, life's all about changes, so embrace change, whatever it may be for you. Uh, accept it and, and be open to it. Uh, also, uh, continue with your learning process going forward. Um, uh, learning experiences don't just end on graduation day. There, there are things that will be important for you for the rest of your life. So don't let a day go by without learning something. And take that learning experience and, and the changes that are going to come about make the best of them. And my guess is you'll be very happy and very successful as you move forward. Once again, congratulations. Congratulations to the UA Fort Smith graduating class in the fall semester 2020. My name is Dr. Sandy Johnson from Johnson Dermatology, and I am honored to serve as a Board of Visitor for the UA Fort Smith um, campus. I really appreciate this opportunity to serve. I hope you continue to enjoy being a UAFS alumni and continue to serve our campus and our community. Stay scantastic. Hi, I'm James Cox. I'm a member of the Board of Visitors here at the University of Arkansas at Fort Smith, and I'm here to offer you my congratulations. You have completed your course of study, you obtained your certificate or your diploma, you have demonstrated that you're teachable and trainable, and you have vastly enhanced your options and your opportunities. I wish you good luck and Godspeed. Hello students, and congratulations on completing your programs of study. I hope you've been able to take advantage of all the options and opportunities that the university has afforded you, and I hope you realize that the learning and the skills that you've acquired are going to be with you the rest of your life. No doubt your program has been an important block in the foundation of your successful future. You know, sometimes people talk about unexpected consequences building character. I agree with that, but I also think that unexpected consequences reveal character. You have a tremendous opportunity as you leave and go into the world to show people who you are and what you can do. Use your academic abilities, your skills and experiences, and let your character and integrity show. If you do that, no doubt you can change the world. And that's a daunting task to ask you to change the world. But class, I know that you know that we've never needed you more than we need you now. Thank you for letting me be a part I'm honored to be at your graduation, and I wish for you every success in all aspects of your life, and I pray that you will continue to use your learning, use your skills, and let that character and integrity show. Thank you.